we do about 5,000 uh, patient tests a day. In anatomical pathology, we do over 60,000 cases a year, which is about 200,000 slides a year. Here at PathLab, 100% digital, we scan every single slide through our digital system. could see very early on that digital was the next advancement for our service. This technology was starting to become a little bit more robust. We've been looking at this for over 10 years. Back in early 2010, we chose to implement single piece workflow and chose to install uh, Leica Cerebro as our single piece flow package. And at the time of that installation, it was about minimising the risk to the audit trail within the histology laboratory. We were aware that digital pathology was on the horizon by that stage and been watching it very carefully, particularly with a view to modifying our workflows and take advantage of the increased patient safety that digital pathology could offer. We initially went with multidisciplinary meetings with a view to gaining experience with the technology, how it actually felt to work with it. We took on the MDM route to integrate our digital system. We saw that as a really easy way to get used to a technology without it being too onerous on the pathologist. Previously we used to have to walk across car park with piles of glass slides which slowed us down and it's not very um, efficient. Now with the digital tool we can prepare our images before we attend the meeting and it's faster service which provides more information to the clinician and at the end of the day the patient. From there we progressed into the primary diagnosis route. It was really important to us that we have specimen integrity from the very beginning of the process right up until the end where a pathologist is signing out. For that to happen you need to have your digital systems and your reporting systems interfaced and so that was how we transitioned from MDM just looking at images and being able to share images to actually being able to report those images in a safe environment. What it requires is a quality process to make sure that your system is safe. So we did a lot of um, QC steps, we did a full audit of comparing glass to the digital image and making sure that the interface was safe and that everything matched, but also that the quality that we were seeing on the screen was of a higher quality than the glass. That did require a lot of steps to finalise, but it's worth it. So we've set parameters that we're working with 4K panels for our workstations, and we scan everything at 40 times. And that gives you equivalent resolution to 40 times on this thing. Annotation becomes uh, second nature. Uh, measurement is accurate and the measurement rulers can be left in place so that you are able to show any reviewing pathologist exactly what you're measuring, what you're interested in. You don't have to draw all over the slide with a pen. And anybody who looks at that image, and they can even be looking at it at the same time as you, uh, can see what you've done. Another advantage actually is be able to look up the previous biopsy the, of the resection specimen or the previous material belonging to that patient very simply, and you can review it very quickly. Even reviews from clinicians happen very easily with digital because you just look up the patient details, open the report, open the slides, and you can give the clinician the information that they're looking for immediately. The one really standout factor is actually it's not that different for us. And so the whole point of it is it actually doesn't interfere with our normal work. In fact, with the adoption of our new stainer and our scanners, it's removed a lot of the steps that we used to do, so it fits seamlessly into our workflow. Digital pathology enables a different sort of work experience for a pathologist and also for the clinicians that the pathologist works for. 
with this world now of social distancing and isolating because of exposures, a pathologist can still work from home and can still even manage a multidisciplinary meeting across multiple sites using tools like Zoom and Teams. The first thing to realise is that a screen is not a microscope and that there are a whole new set of visual and motor skills to be learnt while reporting off a screen as opposed to reporting using a microscope. My main experience is that when you first start using um, digital pathology, like any other new skill, it's effortful and it takes concentration and that's tiring and it's hard work and people interpret that as being inferior and it's not. What you do gain is increased security. You're not looking at the wrong slide from the wrong case. You're always looking at the right slide and you're able to annotate easily. The other biggie with digital pathology is we're turning our images into data and the things you can do with that data are just limitless. Image assisted diagnosis is going to become a thing for radiology. It's already here. It's just a matter of how it's going to be. Our plan is to have several years worth of live image data available to the pathologists, maybe as much as 10 years. We have had to look at our workflows with glass in a whole new way and having a secure locked down workflow for digital pathology has made it plainly apparent how vulnerable traditional reporting processes are to human error. One of the main barriers to implementation, of course, is the cost. Uh, when you're putting in a new piece of technology, which on the face of it looks like it doesn't increase any efficiencies, it's not a new piece of laboratory equipment. So that can be a large barrier because what is the cost to efficiency ratio? And again, it's providing the support for the pathologists, providing better service. It's about quality and it is about the future. So actually over time, that cost is negated uh, because you're looking at a better service. For anybody who's wanting to look at implementing digital pathology, they actually have to begin with a bottom-up review of all of their processes. A secure single-piece workflow is vital to implementation, as has been discovered in the UK. Um, just buying a scanner is not doing the job. You actually have to build a secure process around that. And that has been our focus so that the actual implementation of the digital component of the workflow is the final step of the whole process. It's not the first thing you do. The future is digital and for the laboratories that aren't even looking at it, it is a matter of when and not if. We look at what do we need to start now so that in the future, because let's mention the AI, it is there, it is coming, we're not there yet. But in order to get to that stage, you need the tools now so that we're ready for the next wave of technology which will come. We've been able to invest early into technological advances to help us improve our processes and our efficiencies for both our staff and for our patients.